This is how I did spring cleaning in the fish studio with a bucket and a few accessories. I couldn't believe all the stuff that you could get in the bucket with a couple of accessory pieces, like the stacking interior trays and the outside organizing skirt. I also felt fortunate to have discovered a lid that doubles as a seat and a storage compartment. Originally, I had bought a set of wheels for this bucket to make a, to make a rolling stool. That turned out not to be such a good idea. I don't recommend turning your bucket into a rolling stool. Over the course of moving and then storing things through the winter, I had generated quite a mess in the fish studio. What in the world? How did this happen? Where do you even start? I don't know. But I got a bucket. So here we go. I'm going to transform this mess into an ordered shelf with lots of storage space and a surprise at the end that's sure to make any fish keeper happy. It sure made this fish keeper happy. It really does seem like a daunting task at first. Just so much junk has accumulated. Well, it's really not junk. It's just disorganized and not very usable. Probably if I had to find something, I could dig through all of these storage bins and find what I was looking for. But wouldn't it be nice if I could organize all of this stuff, keep it in one place, and make some clean shelf space for other projects? Well, let's start with this air box. Man, look at all that tubing. Clear tubing, light blue tubing, black tubing, green tubing, purple tubing? I don't know. I guess I use a lot of air in the fish studio. Here we go. First stackable tray, tray number one, seated in the bottom, time to fill it up with air accessories. There's a couple of large air stones. There's a couple of um, Everlast air stones. Uh, by the way, I put those big ones in first because I recall an old proverb that said, if you put the small things in first, you won't have room for the big things later. So take care of the big things first, then fill in with the small things later. Kind of a metaphor on keeping the main thing the main thing. Well, I sure did accumulate a lot of air stones. Can you really have enough air stones? I don't know. I think maybe I have enough. I'm not looking to pick any more up. And I keep these short pieces of tubing to use an air stone inside of a sponge filter. And that, wow, that was a whole kit full of air tube connect yeah connectors and regulators there's a check valve glad i found that stainless steel check valve that's cool oh here's a battery operated air pump i think they sell that for bait buckets but i got it in case of emergencies and transporting fish i think i'm going to store this on the outside of the bucket and that just leaves me with several of these gang valves two three four gang valves and uh, that thing i'm fooling with off camera that's a a drip acclimation kit that utilizes air hose. I use it for shrimp. Okay, I can begin to see how this organizational tool, a bucket, and a couple of trays can really make a dent in my mess. That was a large bin overflowing full of air supplies and accessories. And I've got a stackable tray left. So this is a bin that's kind of a catch-all for plant accessories. I've got a couple of fertilizer bottles there that are fitting nicely on the outside organizer. There's some aquarium glass cleaner. Looks like some root tabs. Never been opened. What do we got here? Oh, more root tabs. Well, you can never have too many root tabs, apparently. A sinker. Let's go fishing. And that's some fertilizer and some water treatment for plants. Uh, some more fertilizer. Okay. Well, no, that's a little tall. Let me think about that. Maybe, yeah. Why won't that handle go up? Let me adjust this skirt here a little bit. I like that skirt and those sharp green and black River Life colors. Oh, here's a pocket on the side with a flap on it. That's fancy. Yep. Two more down. What do we got here? That's some startup chemicals. These are for planted aquariums. BioClean. Fancy. Those are glass vials. Break open. Ew, scary. You never know when you're going to need a little super glue when you're working with aquatic plants, gluing them to the hardscape. And that fishing line, that's four pound test for the same reason. Tying down moss and other plants to hardscape rocks. And driftwood. Oh yeah, there was that pump for the other fertilizer. Well, looks like I've got a few more 
tubes of super glue and a betta leaf. Okay, that's kind of a plant. Well, that's a fake plant. More sinkers, uh, more root tabs. Okay, there we go. What's this? Well, sorry about the blurry footage. My back of my head seems to have gotten in the frame. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a pond basket, a fabric pond basket for plants. A note. Thanks, Rack. Enjoy the hobby. Pete, lots of fish. Pete Mang, excellent fish keeper. Used to run lots of fish on Aquabid. More root tabs, some twist ties, a couple of plant name labels, and I'm down to the end of another bin. Okay, now I'm going to use a separator here. You could use a Frisbee, a paper plate, a dish. This just happens to be, uh, it comes in a car wash kit to put in the bottom of the bucket while you're washing the car. It separates the dirt from the water so you don't scratch your car. It's colorful. I like it. It's green. I used it in a video. I'll probably put a card above here so you can see the video that I used that green disc in. I'll tell you the, a hint here. It involved aliens. So here's some food that's just been collecting soft pack food um, some different feeding strategy apparatus oh that those things are cool those are food blocks i use for when i go on vacation um brine shrimp eggs some more food and maybe i'll get around to using this one day hopefully plankton oh that's good stuff it's air sealed hopefully it'll be good oh yeah there's my pepper grinder that also works to grind food for fry, a syringe for measuring liquid foods and so forth, or removing food from fry tanks. It's pretty good to remove debris like that. Uh, feeding cones. And at this point, I think I'm deciding to only put the soft packs in here, a bunch of samples from a couple of different fish conventions that I visited. Uh, this thing's filling up. Wow, look at all that food. And some apparatus for automatic food dispensers. Oh, that's good stuff too. I need to open that. I think I'm going to take these soft packs and put them in the storage bucket, all nicely organized. And these cans and jars of food, I'm going, that's all shrimp food samples. That's just a baggie full of shrimp food samples. I'm going to leave these hard cases in the bin. Yeah, and I think I use the food more often than the other products. That's why I decided to put it on top of the bucket. If there's a drawback of using a bucket for storage, that's it. If you need something on the bottom, you're going to have to remove a couple of layers. But you're going to see at the end of this video, the result is worth that little pain. Now there's that neat lid that doubles as storage and a seat. So we're not done yet. We still got more space in the bucket for storage. I use those uh, lunchroom cafeteria gloves for feeding blood worms to make sure I don't wipe my eyes and get the blood worm juice in it and have an allergic reaction. So just a few more sample soft packs of food. And now we're into some water treatment. Um, some water treatment products I keep in a separate bin as well. And so, I mean, you got the whole, whole kit water treatment, water changes, what have you right here in the top of your bucket. You got syringes, small basters, stirring spoons, measuring utensils, um, all the different brands that you seem to pick up along the way for all the different things you might need to add new fish. Just more more routine use of some of these some of these liquids. So I'm glad to put them on top. Easier to get to, and then the handy thermometer gun. Yep, we're going to find a, yep, like a holster. Yep, we're going to put that thing in its holster right there on the side of the bucket. And another bin down. Look at all the stuff. Boom. Organized. There we go. I think there was a Placostomus shaped bottle opener there if you look closely. And here's what we did. We got it all stacked back on the shelf in a neat and orderly fashion. One shelf. Part of a top shelf there. And what's that leave room for? Huh. 
Oh my goodness. Four more Baquariums. I'll put a link above. Uh, what? Eight. Eight more Baquariums. You've, you've got to watch my video on Baquariums. I'll put it in the index card above and in the description below. I hope you have fun with your Baquariums. I know I'm going to. I just did a little bit of spring cleaning and made way for eight more project tanks, quarantine tanks, hospital tanks, fry rearing tanks, breeding tanks, you name it. That five gallon bucket aquarium is a pretty handy tool. And to think that was a gold mine of new tank space we found just by doing a little spring cleaning with a bucket. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've not subscribed to the River Life channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like if you like this video. And by all means, share this video if you know someone else who might enjoy it. Till the next time, why don't you get out there and see it, love it, and live it.